Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jennifer. Thanks for popping by my channel today. I have the Crafters Companion or Spectrum Noir Academy of Color. This is the third auto ship, and this one is Feathers and Fur. And I thought we'd unbox. Oops, sorry about the light reflecting there. And take a look at what fabulousness <laughs> they have in store for us. Your coloring journey continues. I mean, how cute is that? It has a magnetic opening on there um then you get your little card i <laughs> i hate to even joke but it'll show you know the website or you can scan your qr code that will take you to the videos and you do need that the web address or the qr code to get to the videos because while they do the class live um and the classes are really really what you're paying for it because these markers are great but the instruction is just so wonderful if you need any help at all with coloring it's just so good and you can't just find them rewound even though they broadcast the live class on youtube you can't find it again without uh without that getting that but if you know the address or you bought one of them I'm pretty sure they're all up there for you. Just saying. Anyway, so here we go with flora and fauna. So there's two, four, six of the color dual markers. So you get 12 colors there, three aquas. So six colors there. Um, I'm going to show you right through this quick. And then I will, you know, compare the nibs and things like that that I do in each. You get your little divider. That is going to go into our lovely binder um, I'll show you that in a second and then you're going to get our wonderful stamps so the stamps for this one are oops, I don't know which way this is, should go I guess you can kind of put that in any way you want but they are nice size so obviously feathers and fur just like it says flamingo I am very excited I love using flamingos love flamingos so I'm happy to see that in here so it's four and three quarters. So really good size. Look at the little parrots. Um, again, almost five inches. We've got a squirrel, three and a quarter. And look at the beautiful line. Three and three quarters and an owl. I heard owls are in right now. Four inches. So owls, before we had llamas and I'm not sure, I think cactus and all kinds of stuff. I heard owls are in. Don't know. Anyway, oh, and we, here we have our cutie pie little fox here. So sweet squirrel very cute so really good range of the different um animals to use for that and then here you can see watercolor card alcohol marker card so normally you really should use the in fact i'll take one of each just so we can show um if you can't tell already your alcohol marker card is always going to be real smooth watercolor card has what do they call that teeth or i forget what the word but there's texture on it and one side is smoother than the other side so on those and let's just put this in there i always say how much i like the boxes i'm keeping the boxes i, I at some point i'll take them all out and put it into one because they're just really pretty and it's like got this felt and it's i like how it's done so stick that in there for a moment We'll put him over here, and now we're going to look real quick. So you have your binder. If you haven't already seen this before in one of my other videos, or you have the kit, and it'll show you your intros, portraits, flora fauna, feathers and fur. So we still have cute characters, aqua pencils, and wax pencils coming. So I'm excited about that, and I love aqua pencils. I'm not so good at the wax. I try, but you know. And then each divider, so you'll see has already got a spot in there. So the first one had the, the couple, the first original. This is if you want to put your samples or whatever. I don't do that. Practice sheets. Then we had our portraits. Okay. Here we have floor and fauna. Aren't they pretty? And next we're going to be putting in our lovely, what did I do? Here we go. Here we're going to put in, so all you do is, you know, you're just going to peel off your sheet and you're just going to put them right onto this. I've heard a couple people saying how there's, once they're using them, they're not um, sticking. All you need to do, at least for me, is just wash them, soap and water, let it dry, and then they should re-stick. 
they should go back in because these ones like i've yeah they're still they're still doing good so there we go and we're starting to fill that up still have room for a couple more but love having it they do have also if you want to download um color charts and then you can swatch them here it says mean box or whatever if you want yourself so you can always do that um, okay so i already have my two pieces here i won't use the other one so let me just show you real quick the um differences with these so i just took two of my other pens so these are the aquas okay so here we have fuchsia on there and you can see the size and the type of tip let me hold this up it'll be easier to see that way from the new dual duo colored ones the normal aquas have the super tiny nibs on one side and the brush so these are brush in here so let me show you and you can see i was doing this before so you can see there is a little bit like thickness the <laughs> thickness the length the size <laughs> that just sounds wrong but you can see there is a slight difference to them so it's good and of course you're going to have more ink in this than here because you're using two and to just show you the scribble let's see which is my aqua here we have an aqua paper and again i was using pink i probably have to here we go with that one that fuchsia and this one is rose red so to me i mean you know you really shouldn't be probably putting it directly on but you can see like to me they look just as saturated just as good just as nice so very happy with that and then to show you i'll just do this on your alcohol ones we'll grab the other pink since we're on a roll with that um, here we go cocktail pink doesn't that sound fabulous <laughs> and it's pp6 so if you these colors are all the same of what you already have in your um, collections from spectrum noir it's just a different configuration so you can learn with the class and see exactly what it should look like so here we have let's do the same thing the nib on here we've got two different colors so you can see the nibs are the same Here's the brush on this one, and I'll show you on my illustrators, and this is Begonia BP3. So again, a little bit, um, the, just the size of the, the nibs are slightly different, like a little bit pointier, just, uh, I don't know. You Doesn't that look, oh God, what a great color, right? So there you go, that was cocktail pink. That to me doesn't really look very pink, but I guess that's, you know, not the the kind the way I like. I am definitely more of the begonia pink girl. So, but they're very smooth. They, it's the same exact ink quality. It's just a different pen. To me, they're fabulous. Um, I hope you get them. I hope you like it. And if somebody was just asking me, they didn't get the portraits. Portraits, I believe, is still up on Crafters Companion uh, dot com, you know, the website, and you should be able to get it. That might only be in the U.S. because I'm in the U.S., so you might be able to get it there. Anyway, next up I have a um, another Hobby Lobby, my second store. It was finally marked their paper crafts down, and I did try and control myself a little more on this second one since I did a good uh, clear out of their supplies in my <laughs> previous store. So keep looking because they are still marking things down if your store didn't have it done already. That's it for me for now. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you find anything you like or you like the video and can hit that button, I really do appreciate it. Uh, and YouTube says that's what they like to see. So bye for now.